Missed mortgage payments by people in Ontario are costing more than ever before. According to a report from Equifax Canada, Ontario mortgage delinquencies, those are payments missed for 90 days or more, exceeded $1 billion in the first quarter of 2024 for the first time ever. More on this now. This morning is Rachel Battaglia, an economist at RBC. Good morning to you. Morning. Okay, so I said the B word, the billion dollar. This figure obviously jumping out in this report. What does it say to you about the state of finances for people living in Ontario? Um, well, it's certainly an indicator of financial stress, but I wouldn't say that we are overly hung up on this number just for a couple of reasons. Um, one being that it's the value of delinquencies as a share of total mortgage value. That's what's really important to look at here. Um, the total value of mortgages in Canada has risen substantially in the past few years, in part because home prices have increased dramatically. Um, and so a missed mortgage payment on average will be larger now relative to a few years ago. So it's that ratio that's really important to look at here. Uh, likewise, the number of mortgages in arrears relative to the total number of mortgages in Canada is another indicator that kind of puts things into perspective uh, because population growth in Canada has been so robust. Um, and so, so have mortgage originations. So uh, even if that mortgage delinquency rate had had not changed that much, it represents a much larger number in absolute terms today. Um, and actually, when we look at today's mortgage delinquency rate, relative to the historical context, we can see that at the national level and in most provinces, today's mortgage delinquency rates are actually on par or in some cases lower than they were before the pandemic. Uh, BC and Ontario being the two outliers there. Okay, so what's going on in Ontario? Then why are we seeing more of these delinquencies in that province than we are nationally? Um, well, in Ontario, the share of mortgages that are in arrears in both, you know, both value and absolute number are notably above those observed in 2019. The situation is faring a little bit better in BC. Uh, tighter labor markets, we expect, have something to do with that. Um, but I would lump BC in with Ontario and saying that, you know, that that's where the mortgage delinquency picture has deteriorated in Canada. Um, and it's not surprising at all, uh, given BC and Ontario households do have to fork over a lot more of their paycheck to cover uh, ownership costs because of the high cost of housing. Um, and the wage differential doesn't really make up for it. Mm. So households in those provinces do tend to hold higher debt burdens. Um, but, you know, again, for Ontario, uh, we're coming from a relatively favorable starting point. Um, in the five years or so before 2023, the share of mortgages in arrears was maybe half that of the national average. So there is space for delinquency uh, rates to drift a little bit higher uh, before we need to sound any kind of alarm bells. So Rachel, I want to break this down a little bit further. An estimated 34,000 households in Ontario missed a mortgage payment in the first quarter of this year. That is a 23% increase from the first quarter of last year. Are we looking at a scenario where we will start to see people lose their homes? Um, that's not really something that's baked into our base case at the moment. People are shifting their consumption patterns to accommodate those higher interest costs. Um, that's been evidenced by slower spending, especially in Ontario and BC, and rising delinquencies among you know, other forms of debt, like missed credit card payments and car payments. Um, labor markets aren't also projected to weaken too much more this cycle. Uh, the unemployment rate sat at 6.2% at its last reading in May, and we're projecting, you know, just a modest increase to 6.3% this year and holding steady into 2025. Um, that's, you know, important because the unemployment rate is correlated with mortgage delinquencies. Um, Current unemployment rate, it's a pretty normal rate of unemployment for Canada and is actually on the low side in the context of a recession or a weak period for growth. Um, and so, you know, so, so long as people are keeping their jobs, this consumption shift away from goods and services and towards interest payments is something that we think people will generally be able to manage. Um, that's, of course, assuming that the Bank of Canada won't change course mm -hmm. uh, anytime soon. Yeah, that's a key factor in this. Rachel, we appreciate your time and your insight. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.